Ladies and gentlemen, here we are outside the Allianz Arena and we are officially the third best team in the Audi Cup 2015. Tottenham Hotspur 2, AC Milan 0 and there was only one winner ever. What a performance. I can't believe there was so much negativity on social media yesterday about Spurs and today practically our reserve team came out and absolutely dominated the game. Craig, what did you see that I didn't see? Uh, I saw Ben Taleb just literally dominating the midfield. Uh, he's making Eric Dyer look much more comfortable than he did yesterday. Uh, he was doing a lot of circle movements, kind of spinning around with the ball. But he's become a kind of ticker. He's in, he isn't just a DM anymore. I'm seeing bits of Modric in Ben Taleb now. Now, I know some of you will probably say, oh, Modric, but he's really making the ball tick in the midfield. I could not agree more. Everybody knows Ben Taleb. I've been raving about him. He's my yeah. favourite player. And today it was just like, he was taking the piss. Yeah, he was, was actually taking was. a piss. It was too, it was just way too comfortable for him. Uh, we've got to speak about uh, Tommy Carroll on the right as well. He looked The English Javi. Yeah, whoa, 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 I don't know about that, but no, he looked really good on the right. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a small man, isn't he, for his age? Very tiny, but uh, scored a really good goal. He did, and uh, uh, Carroll's goal was the second one. NASA Chadley missed the Dolphin with the first one, an oh, absolute wow. pile driver off the laces yeah. with his left foot. I thought he looked good cutting in from the right at that time. Actually, do you know what I thought? We were playing like some kind of fluid total football. No one was ever sticking in their own position, were they? I think uh, Poch looked at yesterday's game and said, look, we've got to keep the tempo way up. It's got to be a lot faster. Chadley was really injecting pace into there. Although Lamella is going over easy and the, and the performance is just not coming for him, he was really involved and he was making good runs, but it just wasn't falling for him. Do you know what I noticed with Lamella? And I have thought this before, but I forgot over pre-season. I think you want him to be in those positions um, in the centre of the pitch where he can play those little tiny balls into the yeah. striker. He gets lost out wide sometimes and can't beat a man. He does, he does. Um, we've got to talk about Trippier as well, though. Yeah. I mean, Trippier looked decent at the right back. We saw some of those uh, crosses, those famous crosses Reese was talking about on uh, Spurverts. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Trippier looks pretty good, but it seems we're going to start Carl Walker, doesn't it? Because he rested him for the whole 90 minutes. It does seem like that, but what I'd say is it was basically our reserve team out there today, yeah. apart from Ben Taleb and uh, a few others but uh, you know the future oh my god it's so bright they come on and they play in that big stage like that and, and Harry Winks comes on and looks looks good you know just just really bright I think but more importantly than any of this Hugo's back Hugo is back I told we said it yesterday we said look he needed to rest that wrist and I think he watched the video took in our cries our pleas from the fans and he's back I'll tell you what not only is he back but he had to deal with a pile driver with about 10 minutes to go yeah. and Hugo is the only goalkeeper in world football who would decide to pat that up in the air and catch it on the rebound. What a handsome man he is. He is, he is. He's absolutely gorgeous. Everything about him just screams uh, amazing and beautiful. And it's just good to see him back on the field. I agree. Anyway, in summing it up, I think that's a great way to finish this tournament. I think, you know, uh, like I said, a lot of negativity after the Real Madrid game, but I just think people aren't realising how much of a Rafa Benitez performance that was from Real Madrid. They really shut up shop and it would have been hard for anyone today. AC Milan opened up a bit more and I thought we performed brilliantly. Uh, sum, sum it up for yourself just very quickly, Craig. Uh, we just outclassed them, uh, we was a lot sharper and uh, they had no drive, which is ironic because they had Honda up top. <laughs> Classic pun from Craig Mitch there, guys. That was our match review of the Audi Cup third, fourth place playoff. Let us know what you thought in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and we'll see you back in England. All right, it's Craig Mitch here for Spurred on TV. We are outside the Allianz Arena. I'm with a bunch of Spurs lads. That's great. Come on, come on, come on.